Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Ashley and on this channel we talk all things budgeting, cash stuffing, sinking funds, and savings challenges. So today I have for you a cash stuffing. We are going to be stuffing my bills binder along with my cash envelope binder today. If that's something you're interested in, make sure you stay tuned for this video and remember to subscribe to my channel down below. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and count up this money. I believe we should have $534 here, but let's just double check this. So we've got 50, we've got 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 370, 390, 410, so 410, 20, 30, 40, 50, 450, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 505, so that's 505, 506, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Yep, so 534 to work with. So we are going to pull out our bullet journal over here and find our cash envelope tracker for today. And we're just going to pull this out real quick. All right, so... We're gonna put this to the side so hopefully y'all can see it while we are working through everything. And as always, we are gonna start with our bill binder, which is our pink binder. All right, so y'all know I have been having like weird weeks. I have been getting sick, my dogs were sick, I had a family emergency last week. Like everything has just been crazy in life and <laughs> I think things are calming down knock on some wood but I'm excited for the next couple weeks because I've got so much content coming out for y'all in the next two weeks and it's just making me excited okay so first up is my envelope we're stuffing 25 in there today like I am just I don't know I think I'm in a really good mood today like I'm just I'm happy right now like I'm good I'm putting the past the past few crazy weeks behind me and I want to move forward and just enjoy <laughs> enjoy this mood okay so let's count up what I have um, in my personal envelope I've got 20 40 60 65 70 71 72 73 so 73 dollars for me And remember, I keep track of what is in there before I stuff it. This middle column over here is for what I am stuffing into my envelope. And then over here is the ending balance um, for this week. All right, next up is my husband's. He is also getting 25. And he is now at 20, 40, 60, 65, 70, 75 dollars. Bills binder. Now this is our um, this is our buffer money for our bill account. My husband's income does pay a majority of our bills, and um, his paycheck gets deposited into the account that all of our bills come out of. And this is just me stuffing in a little bit extra so that we have a buffer in there. So I put $10 in there. There was 10 already in there, so we are up to 20 in bills. Next up is subscriptions. Subscriptions is getting $12. And y'all, I'm really tempted to change up how I stuff my subscriptions. Like... I might just do it. 
I might just do it. I might just get a whole nother binder for subscriptions. <laughs> Um, we've got 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26 dollars in subscriptions. Like, I just, I don't know. I guess I want to like make little trackers for each subscription. And then that way I know when I have stuffed enough for like the next upcoming subscription. And I know I'm on track that way. And then also with summer and like busier season coming up for me, I will be bringing in more money and it would be nice to be able to put like extra in subscriptions and then not have to worry about doing the math and figuring out, okay, am I ahead? Am I behind? Like I just, I don't know. I think I'm going to have a binder for subscriptions. Is that crazy? Is that too many binders? Because... I'm already up to five. I'm adding in a six binder at the end of this month and that would be seven binders. Is that crazy? Let me know what you think down below. Is that is that too many binders? All right, next up is Jim. Jim is getting $10. So Jim now has 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So we are up to 27 in gym. Okay, debt snowball. Debt snowball is getting $25. I'm really trying to make this, putting more money towards debt each week, more of a priority, which is also one of the other reasons why I have stopped doing the percentages because the debt snowball was not getting pretty much anything extra, um, except for the weeks that I made like crazy amount of money. And I, I want to put at least $25 a week here. Okay. So we've got 20, 40, 45, 50. So we have $50 for debt snowball. And everyone's least favorite, taxes. So we are putting 27 towards taxes today. If you didn't know, I am a server. I make 213 an hour plus tips. So all of my tips I get in cash at the end of the night, so they don't go on my paycheck. So all that comes out of my paycheck is the 213 an hour. And y'all, that's not enough to cover taxes. It's just not, we've tried to up my husband's, um, what they take out of his paycheck and it just, it's not enough. We end up owing at the end of the year. So I'm trying to stuff at least 5% of my income each week into taxes for my, for my tips. All right, so we are up to 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 340, 350, 355, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. So 360 towards taxes. And that is it for our bills binder. Now let's move into our cash envelope binder. Now I did um, unstuff the rollover money from this in my last video. So the only thing that we kept um, in here, we kept $20 in gas because you know, gas prices be crazy. And then I did keep the $5 I had in miscellaneous, but everything else we're starting from scratch each week. So groceries, groceries we are adding in $200. So we've got 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 180, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 200. Okay, let's just double check this. 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 180, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 200. So 200 to groceries because, you know, 
groceries prices, just like gas, are just crazy right now. I, I don't even know, y'all. Like, 200 is just crazy for two people to me, but I feel like it's what we need. Like, I don't know. I don't know what to do with all this stuff. <laughs> I'm just making it up as I go each week and trying to figure it out. What What are y'all doing for groceries? Like, how much are you budgeting for your family? Because I don't even, I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> all right. Gas, we are stuffing $50 in gas. So we've got 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. And we had that 20 already in there, so we are up to $70 for gas. I shouldn't have to fill up this week. I filled up at the end of last week, but my husband probably will have to fill up his tank this week. So $70 should be fine. Pet care is going to be getting 25. Dining, dining is gonna be getting $100. So we've got 60, we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95. 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. So we've got $100 for dining. And remember y'all, if we don't spend this money, it will get rolled over into our savings challenges. And we had a decent amount roll over um, from last week. We had $124 roll over. So I'm thinking I'm liking the system of putting a little bit extra in my cash envelopes. That way I'm not stressing throughout the week on how much I'm spending because like I said, I'm not trying to bare bones my budget right now, y'all. I'm just trying to not stress over all the price increases and enjoy my life. <laughs> um, so for now, I, I'm liking this. I, I, think, I think it's gonna work. Next up is fun. Fun is getting $20 this week. And miscellaneous is going to be getting five and we already have $5 in here. So miscellaneous is up to 10. All right, y'all. And that is going to be it for today. We've got all of our bills and cash envelopes all stuffed. Um, tune in on Friday. We are going to be stuffing our sinking funds and our savings challenges, and we'll get to see how many credit card um, points we earned last month. Hint, this is going to be my biggest month yet, and that is due in thanks to the pup's um, emergency vet visit because I put everything on the credit card, which means I earned points for that vet visit. So we've got a decent amount of cash out this month. So to stay tuned for Friday's video and I'll see you then. Bye.